Hello, today I'd like to show you how to replace the keyboard on an HP Elite Book. First thing you're going to do is unlock the bottom cover there by flipping that switch. Once it's unlocked, you just pull it straight back towards you. There's two screws you'll have to loosen. After that, um, you're going to open up the laptop. And once it's partially open, you can turn it on your side, and there's a little hole you can push a screwdriver through, right, right there. I'll lift it up here so you can see it better. But yeah, basically you're going to push the screwdriver through that hole and the keyboard will start to pop out. See here I'm applying pressure to it until it uh, unsnaps. Once it's unsnapped, you can just pry it out. Yeah, and always be careful. Okay, now once you have the keyboard um, out, you want to be very careful that you don't rip those ribbons off. They have a little piece of plastic that clips them into place, so when the keyboard comes out, you'll carefully unhook those. Then when you get your new keyboard, reattach the ribbons. Always a lot of fun getting those uh, attached and trying to balance everything. Make sure the pins are um, the pins on the ribbon are facing down towards the motherboard, and then uh, you slide it in that way, and then just start pressing it in, and it'll start clicking into place. Um, once you have it mostly the way in, just look around the perimeter of the keyboard to make sure it's all the way down. Then uh, flip the laptop over, you're going to tighten those two screws back up, and then reattach the battery. And once you have the battery reattached, you can then uh, put your bottom cover back on and you're all set. Well, I'm not a huge fan of these HP Elite Books for what they cost. They are pretty easy to service so far. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.